guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing this really pretty summer bold look with blues and pinks using the Morphe 35S Sweet Oasis palette. Such a pretty palette. And as you can tell, there's so many shades and you can do so many different things with it. So if you guys want to see how I got this really pretty summer look, then please keep watching. Okay. You can probably hear music in the background because I'm vibing to Doja Cat's album because it's fire. Um, I hate having my hair wrapped up when I have to do my makeup, but we got to do what we got to do. So I'm going to start off by prepping the face. So I'm going to go ahead and first go into my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Firming Cream Collagen Cream. I love this. It's super moisturizing and it helps with like any dry patches I may have. Especially my nose for some reason. I'm gonna go in with this Glossé Bubble Wrap, which is like an eye and lip plumping cream. You're supposed to put it on prior to like your moisturizer, but whatever. I'm trying to look alive today, so I'm just gonna dab some on each eye and then rub in upwards. And I use like my middle finger. I think you're supposed to use either your middle or your ring because it has the least amount of like pressure. Next, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. So I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Powder in Butter. And I'm going to take just a fluffy brush and I'm going to apply that to the skin. And it's so soft on the skin. It's crazy. Next step were, would to be English? Next step would be to um, set that, but I barely have any setting spray left, which is actually annoying. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into my primer, which is the e.l.f. Pores Putty Primer. I love it. I'm gonna go into my eyebrows, so I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Out Promade in medium brown. And I like to use this e.l.f. It's the 10 something. I don't know. I can't even, but it's this one. It's really good. And I just take that and go into the brows. I'm going to go into my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to use that to prep the eyes for eyeshadow. So today I want to use the Morphe 35S Sweet Oasis palette because it's so pretty. And I kind of think I want to focus in on the blue section. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start off by taking Saltwater Drip, which is this one at the top corner. And I'm going to apply that kind of all over. brush had brown on it but I don't mind it but I'm just letting y'all know I think it had some brown shadow on it but I'm definitely gonna take snorkel sesh which is right underneath that shade it's a little bit deeper than salt water drip I'm gonna kind of build up like the teals my favorite song of the album options with jid period i take sail away which is deeper and i'm gonna apply that too i'm kind of just building the blues so that it's pretty pigmented So then I'm gonna take Secret Lagoon, which is like that deeper blue, which is so pretty. It's like a green blue. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna apply that to the outer corners. Oh, yes, gorgeous. Gorgeous. 
Then I'm gonna go back into the original brush and kind of blend out and make sure those shades are blending in together. I'm gonna take Snorkel Sesh again and just kind of make sure that there's a clear transition, but it's blended nicely. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Camel Concealer and I'm gonna cut the crease halfway. Take a nice flat brush. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH41. I'm gonna pack that in. Kind of like so. I'm gonna take the brush that has the Secret Lagoon shade and kind of just Make sure that we have a clear, nice blend. Everything looks good. I'm gonna take the shade off Fresco and I'm gonna use that to set the concealer. So I'm gonna take some white liner and I'm gonna go ahead and line. Before that, I'm gonna, again, blend so that everything is blended together. So I'm gonna take this NYX Epic Wear Waterproof White Liner and I'm gonna line the eyes. So these are the eyes so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do like the face off camera because I have to charge my camera. So I'm gonna go do that and then come back and finish off the eyes because I think I wanna do something a little crazy. Not crazy, but I think it's gonna really tie it in. So I'll be back when my face is done. Okay, so my face is finished. Let's go ahead and finish off the eyes. So I'm gonna zoom y'all in again. I love my hair right now. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna play with like the pinks on the uh, lower lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll take this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH42. And I think I wanna go into the shade Private Villa first to kind of build up the pink. And then I'm gonna take Picture Perfect, which is right underneath and it's a deeper purple. Purple pink, like a fuchsia. There we go. Let me zoom y'all in a little more. There we go. It's like a fuchsia. Woo. And then I'm gonna take Yacht Life, which is this one right here. It has a little bit more of like a red undertone and I'm just building up all of these like pinks and purples. I like that. It's pretty cool. I think. Oh my gosh, it's all in my eye. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go into Windsurf, which is that, that really pretty silver metallic shade. And I think that's gonna be my inner corner shade. I'm gonna go into this Kylie Cosmetics brush. It's dusty, but something really small like this, whatever. Oh, it has something on the back of it, okay. Um, well, I'm taking the other side and I'm gonna apply that to the inner corner, like so. Oh, that's pretty. I think I wanna add a little bit of champagne on ice, which is like that champagne-y toned um, shimmer and see what that does too. Maybe make it less intense. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna take my Essence Lash Princess Lash False Lash Effect Mascara, and I'm gonna use that as my mascara today. It's absolutely amazing, and it's what, $4.99, $3.99, $2.99, something like that. It's affordable, and it's so good. It's funny how I used to not like um, bottom lash line uh, eyeshadow, and here I am literally making a whole look around it. How the tables have turned. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take some of the same mascara and apply it to the lower lash line. Cause you cannot go wrong with lower lash line mascara at all. 
and I think this is a really good mascara for that if you're looking for one because the wand is that perfect wand for that. It's not going to poke your eye or cause like transfer to your skin. And I really do feel like it gives me like a false lash effect. No one good or well. I can't even put false lashes on. So yeah, we're going to move on to the lips. I don't really care to take off the excess product on my lips. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes I just don't care. Today's one of those days. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to use my MAC uh, lip liner in shade Chestnut. And I'm going to line. And then I'm going to go into my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Um, this is in medium sand, but I ran out of it. And so I like to use it as like a lipstick in the center of my ombres. And it creates the perfect ombre for me. Take whatever nude lipstick you want and apply that to the center. I made it a little more pale with like one that's full. Um... Because I do, honestly, I really do like that pale look. Sorry, I'm looking for my lip liner to tweak this. But I do like that pale nude look with the lip liner. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my ColourPop um, Luxe Lip Gloss in the shade Electric, which I think was from one of their collections. Apply that right into the center. And then you set your skin. I ran out of my setting spray, but I do need to brush my hair. But I just, we're going to leave it like this for now. So that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hold up, shut up If you're down to roll up Meet me on the west side by me